everybody ready for another adventure. <laughs> we got John here ready to go early in the morning. Guess where we're going? Where we going, John? Going to coin hole. Coin hole. Here we go. All right, stay tuned. We'll see what we can get. Here we go. Look how clear and slick it is. It's slick out here today. Beautiful. Last. Last today, baby. And no rain. It's a little cold though. 39 degrees. A little chilly. But we're going to see how we do. Let's get it. Got a glass shoreline. Look at that. Look at that reflection. Beautiful. Oh, man. We love it when it ain't got no wind. It's about 39 degrees and no wind. Won't be quite as bad. Look out. It's a little clear, too. Look at that. All right. Let's get packed up and moving. All right. Got the first find of the day. It looks like a button. Almost like rung up like silver. A real high sound. And this thing's got a little bit of design on it. Can't really tell. I have to clean up and take a look at it, though. Cool, pretty cool, though. We'll take that for the first find. I got a bag full of pop tops. I think it's time to move. I'm going to try a new spot. Hold on. I, I don't want to film a bunch of pop tops, so let's get, get going to another spot. All right, talk to me, John. What we got over there? All right, we're talking about moving because neither one of us has really hit anything yet, but John's digging on a target right now. Come on out there. There's a real found right here. Come on, man. It's aluminum. Aluminum. You can tell by the number? Yeah. All right, let's move to a new spot. All right, ran across this on the, on the shore bank here. Look at this. Anybody know what caused that? That's a beaver. He's been going to eat that tree down. Look how thick it is. That is a big tree. He's getting there. Maybe we interrupted him. I don't know. You can see all the chips on the ground where he's been chipping at it. He's going to drop that tree. Next time we come out, probably be in the river. All right, we're in spot two. and still nothing but pop tops and aluminum. But I do like that. Look at that. Nice colonial brick in here. See a few of those in here. And a little bit of pottery here and there. I'm not sure if it's old right there though. Probably do. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. But with the brick here, it could possibly be. Uh, anyway, I think we'll move to spot number three. Alright, after two hours of searching, our first find. A little brass uh, sling buckle or something there. Man. That came a long time coming. There's a lot of pop tops to get that right there. But that's how it is some days. You can't get them all all the time. All right, let's keep looking. All right, here's the second thing I found besides a pop top and aluminum and all. A spoon. The end of a spoon. How that got broke off like that, I don't know. But as you can see, where we're at right now, it's only like an inch of uh, sand on top, and then it's clay. That clay? Nothing goes below that clay, so... Pretty cool we go here just dig a real like an inch layer off the top and we find it. So and anyway, we're gonna keep hitting this up right here. We found a lot of coins in here in the past. Alright, John says he's got a hit. Says he might have some silver down here. That's what we're looking for. Coin at the coin hole. That's what we want. Gold. Gold and silver. What you got, man? 1876. 1876. Uh, Liberty Quarter. I think it's a, it looks like it, something like that, isn't it? Yeah. It's 18, I can see the date 1876. Awesome. It's a quarter. Good yeah. job. I see that thing. Don't scrape it. Just kind of. Yeah, it's already oh, that's pretty. Up yeah. The, just pu pulling it through the water. Just getting it through there. So, yeah, it's oh, a good that's shape. sweet. There, yeah. I'm gonna clean. I'm that's gonna, a good shape. Yeah. Put that awesome job, cup. man. Put it there. Nice one. All right, it's the best find of the day right there. Nice. I like it. All right, so slim picking so far, but maybe start starting to pick up a little bit. All right, let's keep hitting this area up a little more. The coin hole produces another one. All right, check this old bottle out. You know that's an old bottle. Look at it. You can tell it's oblong looking. That is one old bottle there. At least 1700s, I'd say. That is old bottle. Very cool. All right, we're gonna, I'm going to check around here a little bit, up here around this clay area, just to see up on the bank and see what we can get. The tide's starting to come in good. 
Alright, we'll see what we can get. Alright, getting a lot of mixed signals in here, a lot of iron. And once in a while you get like a little high tone, so then I'll start looking. But as you can see, you got the uh, clay. It looks like it might stop most of it. There's like something right here. Right oh, it's a bullet. I believe it's a bullet. It's been fired for sure. Well, I'm pretty sure that's a bullet. I think I can see some rings on it, I believe. Let's wash it off. Yeah, yeah, I can see the rings on it. That's a bullet. Definitely fired. Civil War bullet. From 1860-somethings. Sweet, huh? That's awesome. Not sure which one it is. Looks like, oh, maybe a sharps, maybe? Looks like I see two rings on it. Alright, got us a Civil War bullet anyway. Alright, let's keep moving on. Alright, here's another one. Give me a mix tip. I'm going to see if I can put it camera close enough to see it. Get a lot of iron hits, but it's not like I get like a little higher tone. Not a real high number, but we're going to dig that one out and see what we got anyway. Hope you can hear that. Alright, let's dig it out and see what we got. Moved on to another target. Pretty much the same center on mixed signal, but this is what it was. A horseshoe. Old horseshoe from the Civil War. How about that? All right, we're going to keep trying to dig some of these targets that are kind of mixed in this area because uh, some of them do contain bullets and stuff, so stay tuned. John says he's got a pretty good hit up here. No? Yeah, it's, it's two things. It's a nail and a washer. Ah, uh, we're getting multiple hits in here. A lot of iron hits along with... Uh, the copper washer and nail. Yeah, copper washer and nail in that one. That's what gives us some weird hits in here. All right, let's keep on looking. All right, let's watch John dig a target here. He says he's got a pretty good... All these targets are, are mixed signals, though. He says he's got more good than bad in this target, though. Uh, that's too cloudy. Let's see if I can see it before... I dumped whatever it was out of the scoop, actually. But I thought there's something... The bad one's still there. Uh-huh. So it's pretty close to the top of the surface now, right? Unless it floated off. 1139, 1239. It's like in the neighborhood of penny silver, but it could be aluminum. Uh oh, he's going down for it in the cold water. There it is. In the cold water. No? Oh yeah, right there somewhere, huh? Major have points in that sometimes. Is that it? Yeah. Musket ball. Yeah, musket ball. Yeah, not bad. A nice little musket ball. That's something, yeah. Yeah, sweet. All right. And you found some uh, bullets too. Yep. Yeah. We'll have to take a look at those in a little bit. He's got, a, I think, like three uh, sharp bullets too. Well, so. uh, two sharps and a uh, uh, regular, a three ring. What's a three ringer? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Mini ball. Sweet. Gotcha. Hey, got a got a uh, round ball here. That's pretty good. John is tearing them up here. Right there where he just dug the round ball, he got another hit. He's got something round in the basket. Let's see what we got. Is well, a or a regular penny? I don't know. Can't tell yet. I don't see what you see. I, I ain't got my glasses, so I can't tell. Oh, no. no it's, a, it's a wheat penny. Wheat penny? Yeah, wheat penny. Sweet. I can't see All the right. All right, we'll check the date out later. Yeah. Sweet. All right, John had taken one step away, and now he's got a... Spoon handle. Sweet, yes. I think a silver plate. Yeah, silver plate. You can still see some of the gray Yeah, but there, it's got right? some decoration on it all. We'll Pretty get cool. a close up that in a little bit. Sweet. Good job. Nice. We're getting, getting some hits here. All right, check this out. That must, that might be a bullet there. 
it's underneath the root of here. It might be kind of hard to find, but I'll right, just give it a try. I hadn't even dug any, but it's up inside. It's up up inside the tree root here. It looks like it looks like I see something in there. Dude. I've been trying to dig it out a little bit to see where it is. Yep, it's a bullet. It's a it's a sharps sharps bullet. There we go. Another Civil War bullet. Sweet. John's already gotten a couple from this general area already. We'll keep hiking. We'll keep checking around here a little more. All right, check this out. Been digging up the root right here. Look at that. There's one right up, way up inside the root there. Sharp, another sharp bullet. This tree right here has grown up around, apparently, a grouping of sharp bullets. Because, all right, let's see what we can come up with here. Maybe some people around here. All right, we found something else here. John, pick this up. Look at this. It's an American flag. And we don't want to leave that laying on the ground. That's not proper. So John was John was in the military, so he uh, knows a proper procedure to uh, and dispose of it properly. Dispose of it properly. So we're going to take care of the old USA here, and we're going to dispose of that properly. All right, sounds good. That was a good find there, John. <laughs> we'll take care of that. All right, we're getting ready to head out, and John just packing everything up. John says he's hit something over here. Oh, it's got it now. Let's see. Uh oh, let's see. Let's wash it up. See what you got. Wow, it's eat up pretty good, huh? Yeah, you know, it's got something on it. I think it's a crown. That might be British. Does it look like a crown? I can't tell. Oh, careful! Oh yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, it does look like it maybe got something on there. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to take... We'll see, see if we get home. Yeah, I think I think that's... that's like, I can't tell, man. It's not, is it a, it's not a coin, is almost it? Almost like 66 on or something. I don't oh, know. that could be. Maybe it's a regimental button or something. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, good job, man. Nice. Right here at the end. Get ready to leave. Sweet. I think it's numbers, man. I think it's just a... All right, we made it back in one piece. And we, and we gave that a pretty good day today. Uh, John takes the, takes the cake, though. He did the best today. He got him, the, the number one find he had today was an 1876 quarter. Seated down, seated, seated quarter. Seated, yeah, seated quarter. Seated, seated quarter. Lovely. And I'll show a picture of that on screen. But just showing a few other things we got here. We got, got a couple of balls, got a baseball, a golf ball. Here's a couple of old, old bottle pieces here. They are definitely some old bottle pieces in there right there. Uh, I think uh, this might be a, a hatchet maybe. Yeah. Hatchet hammer, yeah, group in the hammer part, maybe that's what it looks like. And we got some glass, got some uh, look, that one's actually got like a uh, cross on it, like a what is it, medical? It's a, yeah, it's a sanded jar, it might be more modern. Uh, anyway, got some of that. We got a old spoon handle here, uh, a little brass buckle. Uh, John found a couple uh, a button, a couple wheat pennies, and I'll show a picture of this right here. Uh, up on the screen over here, and uh, we're not sure what that is yet. We're still doing some research on that. Uh, we got six bullets, uh, another brass buckle, some sinkers, and I think this is the end of a spoon. And I think that's about it today. Not bad though for not a little good. day. Pretty good. I had a great time, and uh, we'll go out and do it again here for too long. Yep. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Right, Thanks, man. Steve. All right, buddy. Signing off.